like I said, if our our main goal of living was money, I mean, why you wouldn't choose this business? You know, it. Uh, there's a lot to it now. It used to be back when my grandfather was farming, he'd throw some a little bit of hay and some grain, call it good, you know. It, I think probably when it first started out, they never thought it was going to go five generations. So it'll go on as long as I'm alive. I know that. But you can wake up in the morning and you can go to a job and make a lot of money and hate what you do, or you can wake up in the morning and like what you do. And uh, you don't really think of it as a job. It's a way of life more than anything. And, we didn't keep the family farm going because of tradition. It's just, I myself feel like that's what I was born to do. And I don't know, I guess I don't really think about it as a job. He was on a tractor with me before he could walk. I'd carry him one arm and I'd drive the tractor around. And he'd, after a while he'd fall asleep, so I'd bring him up to the house and put him to bed and then go back out and finish the field or whatever I was doing. I think he was, Oh, I don't know. He was three or four years old. We had him steer the tractor. We used to pick up bales of hay off the ground, put him on a wagon, had him steer a tractor when he was old enough to hang on the steering wheel. So I guess it was in his blood when he was born. I don't know. He's been doing it ever since, and he seems to enjoy it. So I guess some people search their entire lives. For, they go to college for all these years and take different courses, and they try to figure out what they're supposed to do in life. And, I was just lucky enough that I knew. It's a blessing or a curse. Uh, no matter what happens in your life, if somebody passes away, or you have a heartache, or you, you're sick, you can't take the day off, you still gotta melt the cows. If you have a heartache, the best thing to do for it is to keep going. If you're sad, the best thing to do is just keep working, and you can't sit around and sulk. You gotta get right back out there and do it some more.